Hi, welcome again. Another episode of Business Analyst Guru trying to go over SQL related functionality like last time. Today, I'm going to talk about joins. This is what I, I promised you guys, right? So what is what are joins? What are we trying to do when we're talking about joins? For non-technical people, the concept of join would be uh, very mind-boggling. Like, what the heck are we trying to do? Why are we talking about joins? So, in my first SQL uh, uh, video, you heard me saying that we don't want one huge table, but want to break it up in multiple tables from that perspective so that it is having a feasible amount of information present in all of them logically that information has to be working in collaborative manner that's why a table is created which will have only that specific piece of information like uh, employee details table designation details table uh, payroll table or you know the benefits related functionality table now if i have everything in all in one place completely denormalized for example uh, it would be a huge table in the first place having so many columns and then a lot of replication of data would exist in all of these tables right uh, you know for every designation you will have like multiple rows for every designation you would have a way by which you will have to repeat the number of employees present which are already presented in a different format in different area of that table running a query on that humongous one table is going to be very difficult for you to take care of hence we created multiple tables but now the problem exists that hey the queries that we learned in our last session you just talked about one specific table okay i have an ability to pull out the employees but in the employee table I only have the designation ID how do I understand the designation ID is what so let's say the employee table has employee ID designation ID and employee name these three rows right so I have employee ID as 001 designation ID as 003 and the employee name is Akash Dedia for example Good, I understand the functionality, but what the heck does that 003 mean? So for that, you might have to create another query where you're going to say select star from designation table where designation ID equals 003. What that will do is it will go through that table, find the designation ID 003 and give me all the columns that exist for that specific row it will give me designation name designation description designation payroll blah 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 all that particular field would show up great problem solved right not really i have to create two separate queries to solve one problem how does that help me now this was a simpler example which is why i was able to do that so you need one query that can use both these tables and provide me the information that I'm looking for. How am I going to do that? That's where the concept of joins comes in, where I can use more than one table, combine them together and generate an output that is eventually going to give me the result that I'm looking for in the same setting. There are four different types of joins that we would like to talk about. Right. The simplest one is called the inner join. I've created uh, in post production the Venn diagram of what is the data that comes out of that inner join. I have the left outer join, the right outer join, and then I have the complete join or the complete or full outer join that is called. Let's understand what are the distinctions between the for before that let's just look at what exactly are we trying to do when we create the join how can we create the join how are we going to connect the two remember in the first session we talked about the primary key and foreign key that is the common link between the two tables if there is no foreign key in the other table you cannot create that join 
it is mandatory that you have that primary key existing let's say in the employee table present in the uh, other designation table as, as well but in our example right now the way we spoke in our case the designation table has designation id as a primary key which is a foreign key in my employee table where it is existing in synchrony with what i have over there so in my employee table i don't need to talk about the details of designation all i need to give me is designation id and then i can map that connect that and extract any information from the designation table right so for creation of joins you need to understand the primary key and foreign key concept discussed in the first sql session if you understand that it is going to be much more easier simpler now the next thing that you need to understand is how do we extract information you need to understand the basic select statement so that you could take care of it this which was discussed in the second step second sql functionality once you have a good understanding of these two you can combine the knowledge and create a join okay so here is an example of how a join looks like the join will have the concept of the select statement and use the functionality associated with the uh, primary key foreign key concept as well here you can see the two tables that i have created for this exercise specifically to keep it simple so that everyone of us understands what is the distinction let's assume that there are two tables one is the country table and the other one is the state table we have that interconnection using the country id as the primary key and the same country id is being used as the foreign key within the state table right so the data that is contained over there we have country id 1 that is talking about india country id 2 that is talking about us country id 3 that is talking about sri lanka country id 4 which is talking about nepal now in the state table we have some data entries as well now if we look at the functionality what we are seeing is we have the information presented in a similar fashion where we have the state id the country id and the state name the state id is another primary key so it is going to be 1 2 3 and 4 the country id is a foreign key which is uh, basically going to extract information from the other table so that we could take care of it from there so the first two records that you see over there are associated with country id 1 maharashtra and goa the third uh, column talks about country id 2 california as one of the state which is present in america now the fourth column that we have we are looking at that particular state id as uh, the country id as null and we have let's say for example timbuktu as one of the data entries that is present over there so this is the way in which i have the information let's look at how an inner join is going to display the functionality associated with it first of all let's understand how do we create the inner join remember one thing i'm not the syntax guy i'm the logic guy right so we are going to display the information from what exactly we want to take care of. so when we do select statement i can no longer just simply provide the column name because we are trying to create a join i have to tell what column i want to display from what aspect i could do a select star from i could do that basically from perspective of uh, understanding that i want to see all the columns from a specific table and then i have to create an inner join on another table so this is how i am going to take care of it right select star from country inner join state and now i just made a join but how do i make that connection remember that primary key and foreign key functionality that i want to take care of right so the way i'm going to do it is going to be on so when i say that on character now it's telling me where exactly we are trying to so i'll say on country dot country id so country id that is present in the table country equals state dot country id so now i said country id which is a primary key in the country table equals country id that is present in the state table that's how i created the join if i execute this functionality what will i see what will i get remember that when diagram 
we said that the inner uh, join is going to give us only the intersection of the functionality. So it's only going to show the following data which is present in both the tables. So I will only see those specific rows that are present not only in the country table but also in the state table. Right? So we had uh, certain uh, data elements like Sri Lanka and Nepal present in the country table which did not have any states. And then we had a state called Timbuktu which did not have any country. Those have been excluded from the records. Okay? So that is your inner join that you are trying to talk about. Let's look at what that left join is going to try and do. Uh, a left join, when you create that particular functionality, is going to be based on how you have written. So from the country and the, uh, let's say, uh, city or country and state, the way you have created it, whenever you put the left join, right now we said inner join, when we say left, whatever is on the left hand side of that particular term is going to be considered. If you say select star from country left join state, the country related functionality is going to be taken care of. So again, you are going to figure out based on what country is being selected. The output is going to show you exactly what type of records that are existing only in that table, which does not exist in the other table. So I'm going to see, let's say if I say select country, left join, state uh, and then give that particular on country dot country id equals uh, state dot country id. What I'm going to get is I'm going to find all the records that are exclusively present only in the country table. So I'm going to see Sri Lanka and Nepal present in that record, but I'm going to, I'm not going to see the details associated with Timbuktu because it does not. Uh, show me any information. So I'll see the states, I'll see uh, the country which does not have the states as well. On the flip side, if I do a right join, it's going to be the other way around. I will not see Sri Lanka and Nepal as the functionality, but I will still see Timbuktu. I'll see all the countries that are present in the right join, right side of the table, uh, but I will also see Timbuktu which is another record present in the state table not having a corresponding record in the country table. Let's look at the outer join. A complete or full outer join. The functionality remains the same. The way you create is select country from uh, uh, select star from country full outer join state country dot country id equals state dot country id. What does that do? it gives me the records of every functionality that is available. Not only gives me Sri Lanka and Nepal even though there are no states, but also gives me Timbuktu even though there is no country. So it practically gives me anything and everything present available from that functionality. So if you don't want to filter, if you don't want to see any intersection or cross section of the functionality, that is how you are going to get it. So this is what I wanted to execute or complete from perspective of joins right i hope this session was helpful uh, although i've used a very generic example the same example can be applied to employee and designation let's say if i have four employees where i have one two three and four employee names and then designation id but i have only two designation ids one and two and the fourth employee does not have a designation id because uh, he may be an intern and we don't have a designation for an intern similarly Let's say the designation ID 1, 2 and 3. The third designation ID does not have any employee because we have not hired him in any ways. So that way you can work on it from that functionality. Right? Again, uh, the same concept can be learned on W3 schools as well. It should be really helpful for you to understand joins. Joins are not difficult as long as you understand this basic concept what is the output when I get the inner join, what is the output when I do it, the left join, the right join and how are we going to take care of the outer join. I hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. Uh, again, please subscribe to my channel if you have not so far. Most of you have. I also would love to hear from you about what more things do you want to 
लर्न और अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ गेटिंग योर फुट इन द डोर एज अ बिजनेस एनलिस्ट आई विल बी मेकिंग दीज वीडियोज ऑन अ वीकली बेसिस लाइक आई सेट एवरी संडे यू विल सी अ न्यू वीडियो पॉपिंग आउट टेकिंग केयर ऑफ अ डिफरेंट टॉपिक The sequel series is pretty much uh, there is one more topic that I would like to do, which is uh, order by, group by, and having clause, which is a way to sort and uh, display the information in a specific manner. Okay, so we'll go through that, and that's pretty much it for the sequel functionality from a business analyst perspective. Of course, the uh, sequel is an ocean; you could have so many more things that you can take care of within sequel, but uh from a business analysis perspective that's what you need now i want to understand what more do you need to help you become a better so put in the comments of uh, the kind of topics that you would love to for me to create a video on so that it gives me an idea where i should focus where i should uh, present my next set of videos so that i could take care of it uh the uh, l- the amount of information is huge but if i cater and tailor the videos based on what you need good right so here are a few videos that you could go through uh these are videos that i have created uh, either in past or something that is going to come up there is a subscribe button over here as well please subscribe so that i could uh, understand whether i'm going in the right direction again thank you very much for all the accolades that you have provided it really makes my day when i hear back how my work has been helping you to take care of your learning of business analysis so thank you very much for taking your precious time to f- put in a comment or a like or sharing my uh, you know videos on whatever uh, platform that you are using thank you very much i really appreciate it